the other way I made money on this house was from appreciation. Okay. And, and some of it was forced appreciation because I kept it standing. Um, I literally had a contract. The house was so bad. I had a contractor when I first bought it. I was trying to get estimates seeing like, Hey, where should I start with this place? Cause there, again, I had never, I had done some uh, home improvement stuff with my dad growing up, but nothing, nothing as, as intense as this house needed. And he straight up, this contractor straight up told me the best thing you can do to this house is a match. Yeah. And just collect the insurance money. <laughs> and, and, and back in 2011, all these contracts were so, so starving for, for, for work, work. you know, is he said, you know, I'll build you a, a brand new house on this lot for 80 bucks a square foot, you know, and, and you got to figure the Portland market stuff was um, a little more expensive, but yeah, it was, um, you know, that, that's how bad that place was. So fast forward to only a couple of years ago, I wanted to get out of that market. Um, I was looking to take some of that equity from that property um, and reinvest it, and make that money work for me. Right. Uh, and I started looking at other places. Um, you know, we talked a little bit before uh, the podcast about, uh, you know, kind of being a, a, a small fish in a huge pond. Uh, the Portland market is was great. You can still make money in it, but you just need to have money first. And I, right. I was at that point. Um, you know, I didn't have a lot of the connections. I was starting to get them, right? Starting to network, but there's there's a really really steep learning curve. Uh, that at, I will agree with you on that. There is a there's first, a steep learning curve. Um, but that's actually a good thing. So yeah. some of the nomenclature when you talk about um. Uh, a steep learning curve. That means it's a sh it's short time frame. Yeah. And so once I was able to, I refied that house in Portland, and was able to actually invest in Boise uh, in 2019. Um, yeah, literally a year ago. Um, okay. uh, and now all of a sudden I have, you know, I, I bought a triplex. Okay. Had a great deal. It was on the MLS. Uh, um, Turned it sort of into a great deal. Didn't look like great on paper. Right. Um, it was about a four and a half cap, and now it's a nine cap. 